All right, today we're gonna to talk about the speed, distance, and time triangle and how to calculate for speed, distance, or time. So uh, first of all, before we start into this, we have to know what units of measurement um, we use for speed, distance, and time. So for instance, let's just kind of relate this to something you know. If I asked you to tell me what is the length of this pen? what would be an acceptable use of measurement or um, unit of measurement that you would use to measure the pen? You would probably say inches or centimeters, okay? We would not use miles for this. That's just pretty much a given. So in distance, speed, and time, there's also units of measurement that they are used for or that, they're, that are used for them. So time, obviously that's gonna be hours, minutes, and seconds. Distance, we're looking for miles, and here's how the miles can be abbreviated with either an M or an MI, it just kind of depends. Meters, feet, and kilometers. Now here's speed. If you'll notice, speed has a little more going on there because speed includes distance and your time units. See, you have miles and hours, meters and seconds, feet and seconds, and kilometers and hours. Now, kilometers per hour can be written either like this or like this. You'll see it either way. But this kind of makes sense if you think about it. Um, let's say that you have two kids that are in a race when we're outside after lunch. Well, if you say someone is fast or they have a lot of speed, what do you really mean? And probably what you would come to the conclusion is that they can go a certain distance in a short amount of time. So speed has to do with distance and the amount of time it takes them to go that distance. So that's why both units are used. Now, once we determine in a problem, whether we're looking for speed, distance, or time, this is how you use the triangle to determine what the equation should look like. So let's say it asks us to calculate speed. We're gonna cover up speed, and that tells us that our problem should be our distance divided by our time. All right, let's say in our problem it asks us for the distance. Then we cover up distance, and this time we're gonna multiply the time it takes us and the speed that we're traveling. If the problem asks for time, then we cover up time, and then our equation is our distance divided by the speed. So all you have to do is cover up whatever it is you're looking for, and that'll give you the equation. 